My dad never purchased a car until he was 41. He bought it in 1941, and um, he never got to be a very good driver, and he tried not to drive at night uh, and in storms or in the wintertime. But this one time, one of his close friends said, Primo, he says, I have this wine. He says, I want you to see how it is. He says, I'm not satisfied with it. My father said, it's raining out and it's dark. He said, I don't, I don't want to come down. Please, he said, that's really a problem. I wish I'd go down. So my dad drove down to Pittston to see him. And of course, he got in an automobile accident that nearly killed him. And uh, he was taken to the hospital and uh, he was in intensive care. And um, one night while he was in intensive care, I had just come home myself from another emergency. I had fallen asleep and I got a phone call and it was my father. My father never called me. And, and he said, Gino, he said, I have a terrible cough. I'm getting shorter better and they're not giving me enough medicine. And he, he said, can you, can you do that for me? Can you call up and give me some medicine? I said, sure, Pop. I hung up the phone. I said, my father and my mother never in their life ever called me for anything. I said, my dad's got to be confused and he's got to be sick. I went right down to the hospital and he was and he was accumulating blood in his lungs. I called his chest surgeon. He came over and he ch checked the x-ray and t tapped him and my dad then survived. So the fact that they never, never, all my life, never called me for a favor, saved his life. Five months later, he was healed up. He had a lot of broken bones, broken vertebrae, and his car was totaled. That first car that he got, he kept for 20 years. But then he they couldn't find parts for his Buick. He bought another Buick. And this was the Buick that he had when he was in an accident, but it was totaled. So I was successful as a doctor, and I went down with a $5,000 check. And I said, here, Pop. I said, get yourself a new car. He said, thank you, Gino. I'll buy my own car. But he said, the gesture is good enough. <laughs>